All right. So uh, all week we've been talking about this admission scandal, which is uh, really now involving so many people, including uh, celebrities Mm -hmm. uh, who are now uh, in jail because uh, they've been arrested after they found out that they uh, bribed, uh, you know, coaches and fudged uh, SAT scores and even photoshopped faces on 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 things just to to get their kids into college and taking places for uh, people who don't have that kind of money that also want to get into these uh, good colleges. So. uh, you know, uh, John, uh, we, we know that, uh, you know, some of these celebrities have been arrested. Uh, mm-hmm. What what kind of serious could they do serious time for this? Or is this going to wind up being like, you know, a fine, a penalty? How does this whole thing shake Mm-mm. down? There's serious. I'm, I'm going to look up the guidelines amount, but there's serious prison time that could be attached to this. And I think it's, you know, one of the things that we could look at to sort of read the legal tea leaves really early on is. Lori Laughlin was held on a million dollars bail. I saw that. That yeah. is super high. And not that I don't want to compare apples to oranges, but remember when Martha Stewart faced a, a federal jury and she te- I, did she test? No, she didn't testify when she got busted for um, insider, insider trading. trading. Yeah. And, and the amount that she inside, like, I don't know, she stood to gain like $45,000. It was something ridiculous. And it was really more about the cover up. Anyway, long story short, she did nine months in a, in a federal prison for that. that. Right. And that, when you compare the level of fraud that's involved in that to the level of fraud that is involved here, um, it's, there's there's so many layers to this, oh and there, it's God. just it's just a pattern of so many things they had to go through. I mean, they had to falsify records so the kids could take special SATs because they they needed longer time, and then they were able to pay off the the proctor, the proctors, and then they had to pay off the coaches of the crew team. So now here's my question: so the the parents are the ones that are in trouble for this, but mm-hmm. the kids they had to have been complicit. They knew that they never uh, were on the, a crew team before, and all of a sudden they're getting a crew scholarship. They knew that they someone was cheating on their SATs for them shouldn't see, they be they? just as guilty see I so I have some mixed feelings about that and again this they were is, giving them the answers at the test they, the, so pro, right. the proctor was saying no 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 don't answer that one fi- fi- do it this way in some instances yes but in some other instances I think the answers were getting changed after the kids left the room so they wouldn't have known exactly so here's what I'm trying to wrap my mind around if your parents want you in a pres- prestigious school so badly that they're willing to Risk their life and liberty to do this. But I mean, Are look, the kids so stupid that they, like, with all the bad grades they've gotten, they think they're really going to get into Yale? Or the fact that they can't even swim and all of a sudden they're being recruited for a full scholarship on a crew team? I mean, they don't, <laughs> they don't know. But then again, I will say, when you're 17, okay, I'm not... And you trust your parents yeah, blindly. You trust your parents. Like, I will say that, you know, my dad and my uncle might have had me do something that... <laughs> Oh, As your attorney, I advise you <laughs> to plead the fifth. Okay. I, I want to hear this one off the air, Robin. Okay. Yeah. 